for the Durham Girls Choir under Music Teacher of the Year. And here is my OMA talk. Quite simply, I moved here in 2005. I did not know what to expect. I had no clue if I could even build a studio, let alone perform in Oshawa. This is my home. This is where I work, perform, and sometimes I actually get to go listen to shows. I'm so grateful to be the Durham Girls Choir Director, and we are going to have a great season this year. What's our favorite song to perform? After 50 years, there's so many songs. However, I'll say which one is my favorite right now. Sing My Song by Shannon Linton. She wrote it for the Durham Girls Choir. We performed it live for the first time this year, a song written just for this choir by a woman, a woman who lives in Ontario, not that far away from Oshawa. It's a beautiful song, have a listen. The pandemic was very difficult for us. So in December of 2021, we were invited to sing the national anthem for the generals. And I have to say, it was a full house. I promised the choristers we would not start singing until the entire audience would go quiet. And they did. And there was a silence. And then 42 singers started to sing in Canada. And that is one of my favorite, most intense memories. As an educator and performer who's been performing for 30 years, I was young when I started, so, you know, I'm often asked, what's the piece of advice I would give to someone starting off in this industry? And I always say, listen, 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 listen to almost every style and genre of music. Go listen to live music, because live is not the same as recorded. Both are equally important. Listen, ask questions. Find mentors who will believe in you and support you. Accept the feedback and also trust your gut. You will know when you are doing the right thing. It will feel right. And yes, sometimes we have to accept some gigs and some contracts that are not ideal at the beginning. And with time, the music that is right for us finds us. I always joke around that I wanted to be a rock singer. I had no desire to be a classical singer. Classical music found me and it gave me a great life. So follow your gut, follow your instincts, and practice. Thank you for watching. I hope I'll see you on September 29th at the Biltmore Theater, where all the nominees will show up, hopefully, and receive their awards. Keep showing up for live performers. If I'm allowed to say this, it's been very difficult during the pandemic to perform, and now we need our audience. We need you to show up buy tickets, buy whatever, the merchandise and all the stuff that they're offering, and just come and listen to us. That's what we need. That's what I need. That's what we all need. Thank you for listening.